first and foremost, I just wanted to wish all my Canadian friends and family a uh, safe and happy Thanksgiving. Um, and to everyone, including my American friends and family, uh, I just want to say I miss you all. Uh, for some of you, it's been way too long since I've seen you in person. Um, and I'm just, you know, counting down the days till we, we can be together again. So uh, stay safe out there. Uh, we'll all get through this together and we'll be together soon. Um, in the spirit of 2020, uh, I've kind of been doing these virtual releases of, of my work that I've been shooting this year. So yesterday I released a new image that I've titled Cotton Candy for Breakfast. Um, and Cotton Candy for Breakfast was photographed at Moraine Lake in Banff National Park, Alberta, Canada. So in, in my opinion, Moraine Lake is probably the second most beautiful natural landscape in Canada. Um, Everybody knows Niagara Falls. That's that's probably the the notorious spot. Um, but Moraine Lake, in my mind, is is right up there. Uh, in my mind, second to none. But it's it's probably the second most notorious. And not always by name. If you say Moraine Lake, uh, it doesn't always register with people. But if you've seen when you see the photos, uh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, it used to be on the back of the old Canadian twenty dollar bill. Uh, Moraine Lake, uh, it's everywhere. I was at the ATM at my bank and uh, the the background screen on the ATM was it was a was a photo for Moraine Lake. So uh, it's very famous, uh, very well known. Hundreds and thousands of people visit there every day. And I, I photographed there before. Uh, I took a shot there on Canada Day two years ago. Um, very, you know, quintessential. Uh, it's, it's a tro it'd be a trophy shot is what. Uh, photographers might refer to it. It's just that, you know, tw you know, it's at dusk, uh, beautiful orange sunset. Um, the the water's perfect blue green, that glacial blue green, uh, which is infamous in that area. Uh, you know, it's it's just a a great shot, the trophy shot. I uh, love that photo. I'll always love that photo. It's it's one of my favorites. It's you just can't explain how beautiful it is to be in the presence of Marine. Like, it's just, it's phenomenal. When you see it, you're just like, you, you cannot even fathom that this place naturally exists. It's so beautiful, you, it almost, you almost feel like it had to have been, you know, planned. It, that's just, that's, that's the best way to put it. It's just, you can't, it's, un, it's unimaginable that just naturally that it occurred and it's that beautiful. So, if you haven't been, uh, highly recommend it. Now, the cool thing about cotton candy for breakfast is that um, it's shot at sunrise, actually moments leading into sunrise. And as a photographer, it's it's a little bit of a challenge to, to shoot a shot such as in, in a few respects. The first respect is that um, at the base camp, there's a parking lot of Marine Lake and, and it only only a couple hundred cars you know, it's, it's a small parking lot. A couple hundred cars can, can go there. And, uh, you know, it's well known in the photography community that if you want to be there for sunrise and you, you want to get a parking spot, you have to be there at 5, 6 in the morning. And 6 in the morning, that's even, you might be pushing your luck. So once the parking lot's full, the park rangers close the access road down. And the only, at that point, the only way in is via shuttle or via a hike and, and the hikes you know 20k round trip from you know from the road the access road in um and the shuttle runs you know 10 a 9 10 a.m till 6 p.m so you know that's fine that's fine if you want to just take the shuttle in and visit it's beautiful highly you know do that if do that if that's your if that's your only consideration can't miss can't miss place um however if you're a photographer uh, it is worth waking up at four o'clock in the morning for, and that's what I did. Had to wake up at four o'clock in the morning, uh, drive to the base camp, and the main, actually, the main goal of of going to Marine Lake is, is also the base camp for the Larch Valley hike, and and I'll get into that in some future videos a little bit more. But Larch Valley, like Larch, is a Larch tree named for Larch trees, and the Larch trees are infamous for like the golden fall colors. So I wanted to hike Larch Valley, I did. Um, I'm gonna release a bunch of photos that I took on that adventure at a later date. Um, but when you, you know, if you're gonna go hike Larch Valley, you might as well wake up 
go for Sunrise of Marine Lake. And that's what I did. And, uh, you know, you get there. I got there at like quarter after five by the time I drove. Um, and, and there was only a handful of parking spots left already at that time. So just fortunate to get in in the first place. And then, so getting there is one thing. I mean, anyone can wake up before and get there. The other, the other thing is like, I'm a Saskatchewan boy, uh, and we're, you know, Saskatchewan's the land of the living skies. It's an embarrassment of riches here. Like, the sunrise, the sunset's phenomenal, more days than it's not. The mountains are not as, you know, accommodating in that respect. Uh, you can spend a lot of time waking up at four in the morning and a lot of time staying out for sunset, and it's just, you know, it's not the land of the living skies. Uh, you don't get the color as much. It's, it's just, it's trickier. And I think the mountains play a bit of a, a bit of a factor in that too, because while you might get a beautiful sunrise, uh, you know, the mountain range might block the sun and it just kind of throws a bunch of wrenches into the plan. So this shot to me is, uh, you know, it's, it's, I, I don't know. I don't really, I try to find a handle on a word I want to use, but it's just, I appreciate the beauty of this shot so much just because the luck I, you know there's a bit of luck involved in it uh to get there to get a parking spot and uh, to go set up you know you're by flashlight hiking to the to the rock base um get set up you know you're gonna share the sunrise with the 100 or 200 people that that camped there overnight or you know got there at three in the morning or whatever it is that they did and then to get an exceptional sunrise on top of that is super rare and and actually the actual sunrise wasn't you know anything special this photo is kind of shot like the moments before sunrise and, and the, the, you know, you can see, obviously the photo speaks for itself to some respects, but the way the sun comes up through the mountain range, um, and it just lights the tips of those mountains on the right hand side and, and the cloud cover, it has to be just right. And it looks like the mountains are erupting like a volcano of cotton candy. Um, breath absolutely breathtaking like i i can't explain the rush it is to experience something like that in person um just such a magnificent place um and so i i kind of like if you follow me and you follow my work you know i love i kind of love photos that have that attitude a little bit of a you know maybe menacing is the word just a little bit of an attitude so i underexpose a shot slightly which when you when you do a little bit of an underexpo uh, underexposure, it just really like brings life to the cloud structure, and it really you know highlights those that color on the tips of those mountains, and it really you know just ex it's just an explosion of cotton candy, and uh yeah, so I just kind of wanted to explain a little bit of the challenge of the shot. I, like you said, it's it's the probably the most photographed place in Canada, or you know one of them, so. It's not like it's, you know, everybody's got a photo from Marine Lake, but to, to capture something like that, uh, really happy. It's, I feel like it's kind of something different and something rare. Like I said, you got the, tr the trophy shot where it's bright, sunny, the water's perfect blue, the, the trees are green. So to get like that kind of style that befits the style I like to shoot, uh, I kind of, I kind of, you know express how elated i am to, to get a shot like that so i just wanted to explain that to you um just a couple business items i want to tag on here uh i'm running a 25 percent off sale uh all thanksgiving weekend so ends tonight at midnight so if you see this video get on it get ordering if you're from if you're an american you're from the states all my prices are in canadian so with the exchange rate you know you're looking at 25 30 percent exchange rate Plus 25% off, you're talking, you know, 50% off all orders. Uh, no codes or nothing when you visit byronfictor.com. Uh, you'll see everything's automatically priced down 25%. That ends at midnight tonight. Uh, including cotton candy for breakfast. You can order You can order that right now. Canvas, metal, prints, frame prints, whatever suits your fancy. Uh, there's a multitude of sizes from small to very large. And... and you know, get get that done. Uh, the other thing I just wanted to kind of hint to touch on, we talked about it with uh, my last release, Portrait Perfect. Uh, kind of starting, you know, starting this middle summer, um, all my shots from now on are limited. So 
every every photo is going to be numbered uh, from for now from or the current the current sets one to hundred. So once they're sold, they're gone. Uh, I want to, you know, I'm kind of getting to the point where I want to increase some value to my work. So I feel like limited runs are the way to go. So if you order, you know, any of the newer shots, uh, Winterfell, which is behind me here, uh, Portrait Perfect, uh, Cotton Candy for Breakfast, anything that's released from now on, it's all going to be limited. So it's going to come with a certificate of authenticity, number 200. Uh, yeah, and I just, you know, I just want to, you know, provide some value to the collectors and, uh, I just want to show my appreciation to everyone who's supported me uh, through through my photography adventure and uh, looking forward to many more great years of, of doing this that I love so much. So once again, thanks for taking a couple of minutes with me on this virtual release. Uh, you know, drop a comment. What do you what do you think of the new piece? Let me know what you think of it. And uh, yeah, stay safe out there.